Alright guys, welcome back. And now, we can head into Dark Passage. I always used to get Dark Passage and Dark Hollow confused as a kid. Very different levels though. And nice music. Okay. So, I think there's 500 in this as well. Yeah, and five dragons, wow. This is going to be quite a long video, I imagine. And this is what the level's all about. These guys, unless you flame them, you know, they kind of fade in and out of light. And when they're light, the creatures around them turn small. And when they're dark, they're big again. So, that's what the level's all about. It's essentially the same as the thing in the home world. You know, obviously the metal ones you can't touch when they're big. The normal ones you can kill with a flame, but they're pretty vicious. Okay, let's get that. Yeah, but I mean, Dreamweavers is a pretty weird place. Lots of stuff going on. Here we go. Cassia. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. The fools? Is that what we're calling them? Okay. <laughs> I love dodging these guys. Just because the arrows are so slow. Right. Mushroom guys. Nice little supply there in case I get hurt. Okay. I guess I'll flame you. It's weird, because like, the small ones and the big ones, I think, still hurt you the same amount. But I assume the big ones have more range or something. And, you know, you can obviously charge the small ones as well. There we go. Okay. Devil thing. Looks like... I don't know, when I see those things, I think of, like, Cupid firing his love arrow or something, but... Doesn't look anything like a Valentine's creature to me. Whatever. As easy. Thank you for releasing me. Of course. We haven't heard one of those in a while. <laughs> Dog things with... I don't know what those mouths are supposed to look like. like pencil sharpeners. They're, that's what they're like. You know those electric pencil sharpeners you can get? I don't think we ever had them at school because... Our school is too busy paying for removal of wasp nests in the toilets, but yeah, they're pretty cool. You, devil thing. Now, there's a whole other section down here, I believe. Now, I normally miss this when I play through this level, but if you glide down here, we got a nice little secret passage. So that is pretty damn cool. Devil thing. Yeah, so I guess we could glide down there. Just want to see what's in... Oh, definitely don't miss these, by the way. Let's go and see where that whirlwind takes us. Because I forget. Okay, that would make sense. <laughs> Let's go back down again. Don't die. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so just a few of these platforms, I guess. Where's Sparks? Oh, there he is. That particular fireworks box, I've missed on countless occasions and had to go back through the level, but... Okay, let's get you. Ha 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 ha! Well dodged, Spyro. Okay. Bunch of dogs. Hmm. Looks like the common theme in the Dreamweaver's world is that pretty much everywhere there's a place to fall off. Sort of a more extreme version of the Magic Crafters. Oh, here we go. Uh, this guy will not change unless you hit him. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
There we go. Yeah. Some of these guys, pretty hard to avoid. So you're going to be taking hits. There we go. Devil guy. Get a nice, juicy little life. Yeah, I've been really kind of getting into older games as well at the moment. I know I said I've been doing some Call of Duty random class live sessions, but at the same time I've been kind of trying to rebuy a load of old games, like I went and bought a GameCube today. Just a console, <laughs> still need to buy the power adapter, the audio video cable, the games, the controller. Memory card? Do they use memory cards? I forget, but... Yep, definitely going to look into getting either Mario Party or, I don't know, maybe Double Dash, something like that. You, Dragon. Apara. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry, the only one who's going to be trapped is him. But I have to go now. Now, you. Ah. Definitely don't want to do a long charge on that guy. He's still alive. Ah, mistimed it. Okay. Oh, that was a nice preemptive shot there. Is that a warning shot? <laughs> and they bark like dogs when you kill them. Does not compute. I do love the design of these enemies, though. It's such a cute noise when you kill them. Feels a shame having to kill them. Okay. Another dragon. See if I've missed anything. Problem with Dark Passage is it's... Well, I say problem. It's a nice design, but it does mean if you miss gems, you have to go all the way back through, which is a bit of an inconvenience. Obasi. Thank you for releasing me. But I guess you have to go now, is what you wanted to say. Oh, I assume I've done that bit, yeah. So, we're going to glide over here. I just... I don't know. I mean, you don't really see many games like this nowadays. I'm not trying to get all, like, pretentious and nostalgic, but what I mean is you don't really see many games now which are of this kind of genre, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but these are the kind of games I loved as a kid. Don't get me wrong, I love the modern games. I love my Call of Duties, I love my Halos to a certain extent, and the... What other new games? Assassin's Creed, that kind of thing. All good games, but... This is the kind of thing I was brought up on. Here we go, we got 100 more gems, well, just under. And another dragon. I think I know where to find that guy. Let's see... Firework. Okay, so that should blow up that chest over there. There it goes! Oh, and I can't see it. Okay. Ah, you got me. Well done. Okay, final dragon. Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. Yep, yeah, what of it? I'm the one. few more gems here, and I guess here? Yeah, because this is where we're supposed to go. That's where I got diverted, just down there, so we're back on track. Gotcha. Definitely don't want that guy to be big. Now. Ten more gems, there we go. That was it. Quite a short level, actually. Not as long as I remembered. Okay. 
So that was Dark Passage. Next one. What is next? I wonder. Hmm, I might possibly record some Call of Duty after this as well. I'm in a good mood, why not? Get you. And... Possibly... Let's see what's through here. Oh, Lofty Castle. It's gotta be. Yes! Lofty Castle is the one. Okay, stay tuned next time when we take on my favourite level in the game, Lofty Castle. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.